my family did a trip to uh, Hawaii, and I bought a book about uh, the ships at Pearl Harbor to read, and I just that was the start. I think there is no more sacred body of water to the U.S. Navy than the waters we are in right now, Iron Bottom Sound. So pretty much till the uh, midway, uh, Japanese was keep winning the war. Actually, the, this is the Gadao Canal. is uh, the time for Japanese kind of reality of the war hit. So this is this is something Japanese uh, started to losing the battle. Yeah. And these waters really exemplify the the history of the U.S. Navy, where we had suffered crushing defeats. We adapted. We learned. We implemented change and we were victorious in the end, but the price we paid for that victory was very high. To me, this expedition honors that memory in a way that we probably couldn't do. To know that when you're, that you're at a site where a historic event happened, you know, we're actually sailing in history, in historic waters. It's a little overwhelming. It's, to be honest, it's a uh, very surreal was thinking, even I didn't know, to be honest, like where, where exactly, you know, uh, Gadao Canal. I, I hear it a lot as a Japanese, but uh, till I got, you know, till I studied, and, you know, even, you know, now at this point, oh, I have to go. I think being here personally, you get to see things as they develop real time. Hopefully I'll be able to tell, you know, assess what was damaged uh, during the sinking events that caused the vessel's loss, things that could help confirm, you know, our damage reports that were that were compiled after the vessels were lost. We can learn what was exactly happening, you know, during the battle. For example, we know so much, you know, stories, you know, from the you know, witness, uh, but maybe that is not what happened, actually happened during the war, because, you know, total chaos, especially during the night battle, we know so much about, you know, the terrestrial archaeology uh, on, the, on the land, but we don't know much about the seafloor. Let's say 30 years ago, we did not have some technology, let's say. I mean, we had a te some technology, but it wasn't advanced as today. The images that we're getting in, in recent dives from things like Drix is incredible, and I think it, it inspires people when they see these things. If you look at some of the event or some of the pictures that are from Ballard's first expedition here, then you look at something that was done recently with the higher resolution technology, it's incredible. Uh, I'm hoping that this type of thing, thing was going to inspire a whole new generation of uh, younger folks to study maritime history, maritime archeology, span as well as the oceans. First of all, I, I'm so glad we are not enemies in this point and then we are actually in you know, our eyes and they are friends and then that, that's you know um, something I really appreciated and I also I'm not taking for granted if something happened in the past uh, it can happen in the future now that's something the power studying history or archaeology is uh, give, gives you know, us lesson uh, to to what comes in the future.